snow cone mini one shot. I know a lot of you guys suggested one shots ideas. And I want to do most of the ideas I already have first before I do any of yours. Alright class is dismissed. See you all tomorrow, said Aizawa rolling into his sleeping bag most of the class immediately left leaving Ochako and a few other classmates. Hey Ochako you seemed kinda out of it today. What's going on? Asked Asui alongside Mina. She is just upset because Midori is sick and she can't concentrate when her boyfriend is stuck in his room all alone, said Mina teasing Ochako. He's not my boyfriend Mina, said Ochako with her cheeks puffed out. Maybe not but you wish he was. Maybe if the sickness has him knocked out perhaps you could sneak into his room and have your way with him, said Mina giving a wink. Mina, said Ochako blushing and steam coming from her head. Ha ha I'm just joking, said Mina loving Ochako's reaction. Come on Mina leave her be, said Asui. I gotta go anyway, said Ochako. She grabbed her bag and made her way out of the classroom. Ah and everyone even agreed to go out and do something tonight, said Mina. She made her way back to the dorms and she went to the kitchen first. After preparing some curry and soup she placed them on a tray and she made her way to Izuku's room. She gently knocked on his room door and waited for a response. She didn't get one. Deku, Ochako called out. Still no response. She gently opened the door and peeked inside but she couldn't see much since the curtains were closed and the lights were off. She placed the tray on the floor and went down to the kitchen and grabbed a flashlight before coming back to the room. She used the flashlight to light her way to the curtains and she opened them letting the light into the room. She turned around and she saw Izuku fast asleep. She went back outside the room and grabbed the tray bringing it inside and placed it on a table nearby. She looked at Izuku asleep and watched his lips slowly move as he breathed in his sleep. So cute, thought Ochako. She slapped her cheeks as she felt her face warm up. Perhaps you could sneak into his room and have your way with him, said Mina. Why am I thinking about what Mina said? Ochako thought to herself. She immediately shook her head and calmed herself down. Well I brought him food. That's all I came here for. I better leave him alone now, Ochako thought. She made it about halfway to the door when she started to hear Izuku groan from in his sleep. Deku, said Ochako. She turned around and made her way back to him. He then started to talk in his sleep but it was so quiet that Ochako couldn't understand it. She placed her ear near him and tried listening. She couldn't understand what he was saying but it sounded like he was uncomfortable. His face is turning red, thought Ochako. She placed her hand on top of his forehead and immediately took it off. He's burning up, thought Ochako. She immediately raced out of the room and went to the kitchen. She grabbed a towel and got it wet and wringed it out and ran back into Izuku's room. She placed the damp towel on top of his forehead to help him cool down. Hopefully this will make him feel better, thought Ochako. She almost fell to the ground when she saw Izuku's eyes open. You Uraraka, said Izuku weakly. H hey Deku, said Ochako. W what are you asterisk cough D doing here? Asked Izuku. Oh, well, um, I brought you some food and I wanted to check on you, said Ochako embarrassed. Oh, well, um, I brought you some food and I wanted to check on you, said Ochako embarrassed. Oh oh, so that was you who brought me food cough yesterday, asked Izuku. Why yeah, said Ochako. W-Y, asked Izuku. Because I was worried about you, said Ochako. I see, but you see could have gotten as sick as cough well, said Izuku. If I did it would be worth it anyway you should eat something now, said Ochako. Oh sure tea thanks, said Izuku. He slowly sat up in bed and Ochako handed him the soup which he gladly accepted. 
This is really good Uraraka. Did you make it yourself? Asked Izuku. Yeah I did. It's just soup nothing special, said Ochako tucking a piece of her hair behind her ear. S still it's special to me cause you made it, said Izuku making Ochako blush. T thanks Deku. Well I should probably get go and cough. Uraraka or why you alright? Asked Izuku hearing placing the bowl of soup on the table as he heard Ochako cough. Why yeah, I'm fine just a cough little cough. My throat is kinda sore though, said Ochako. I it's cause you were trying to take care of me, said Izuku. I it's alright Deku, I'm just going to sit here, said Ochako sitting right beside Izuku's bed. I don't think you should be on the floor sick cough, said Izuku. He scooted over closer to the wall giving enough room for another person on his bed. T that's not really Nises. Izuku gave Ochako a look that meant he was serious and she knew that she wouldn't be able to change his mind. She picked herself up and placed herself onto his bed and then Izuku threw the blankets over the pair. T thanks Deku, said Ochako feeling her face heat up, and not from the sickness. Why why you're welcome Uraraka, said Izuku. A few minutes later, wow that sure was fun, said Mina holding a candy apple. Sure was. To bad Midoriya and Uraraka didn't come, said Kirishima. Well why didn't Uraraka come? Asked Kaminari. She must have snuck into Midoriya's room and did some naughty things with him. Said Mineta who got a slap from Asui. I'm sure Midoriya is just resting in his room and Uraraka is in her own. As the head of this class it's my responsibility to check on them. Said Lita. He raced to Izuku's room first to find the door wide open. What's going on in here? Thought Lita. He took a look inside and he saw Ochako and Izuku in the same bed together. Lita was about to barge in and lecture them on about a billion rules, but he noticed that they were both asleep and Izuku had his arm wrapped around Ochako with her face against his chest. Lita closed the door and guarded the room for the rest of the day. I'm pretty sure you have already read lots of other stories like this one.